Uh, you being from Texas, uh, we all know that Sauce Walker and Goyeo have been into it for the past, what, four or five years. Um, now they're talking about doing a one-on-one -on -one celebrity boxing match. Do you think that 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 will it will it will end the beef, or do you think that would just add more fuel on the fire? No, nah, that end the beef. Yeah, that that end the beef. Uh, I think that will end a lot of beef. If them two do that, I think that'll end a lot of beef. Uh, I think that'll rectify shit that can't be rectified because blood was spilled. I think everybody can say, man, we all lost something. Let's not lose no more. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the olive branch. If them two niggas do that, homie, that, 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 that. Uh, oh, boy, boy, my heart smile. But two years ago, I asked you this, and you said that that's what's wrong with black people. We always got a result to fighting instead of sitting down like men and talking and having uh, a conversation. Well, they they not they they not they not real black people. They they uh what <laughs> they they saucy saucy yeah yo not real black people. No, they ignorant. <laughs> ignorant don't know how to talk it out. So if we can show them, okay, see this how they know how to solve problems. So trying to bring me and your method, hey man, let's talk it out to two niggas who don't know how to talk it out. So if we can get y'all to not kill each other, since y'all can't talk it out, and y'all can do this and make some money and sell tickets, and you and each click can bet. I bet my nigga whoop you. I bet my nigga whoop whoop. Okay, now this make a little bit more sense, and nobody dies. But if we can sit down and talk it out. Let's sit down and talk it out. But with them two there, homie, uh, both of them niggas ignorant. And it's been blood been spilled. But you know when when somebody can't accept the loss, it just it adds more fuel on the fire. Uh, put somebody in there that can win then. But it's easy to accept a loss when you done got paid. Mm. You a whole ass you get in here, we both done agree. To do this, to fight. And we done made, we done got a bad fight. You a whole ass nigga, y'all go get a gun. And you should be prosecuted with an extra sentence. Something should be added on to your sentence. Because we giving you a way out of this. And this is what y'all all been hollering for. Let's put the gun down. Homie, I don't, I don't advocate violence in, in, in no shape, form, or fashion. Because I think most niggas really can talk it out. But there's a faction of our community, because of where they come from, because of how they was raised, you got to let them fight. Say, nigga, y'all go in, there, in that room and fight. Get the boxing glove. Oh, I'm going now. Y'all stay in here and let them two niggas go in there and fight it out. You, you know when I know in, in this rap culture, you take an L as a rapper, it's like career suicide. Uh, then, don't, then don't sign the contract. If well, you, what about if, fight off hum, camera? Hum, hey, listen. If you a stand-up nigga, it's on a, it's on a career suicide if you if, if you're a weenie. It's on if you're a weenie. But if two stand up niggas get in there and squabble, there's no loser. Now you get knocked out the first round. You go in there fighting like a girl, yeah. But two niggas going there, two warriors. Boom, boom, boom. Nigga, you took a L. It ain't killed your career. Nope. <laughs> Come on now. Nigga, more people saluted the fact that you had never got in the ring before and you got in the ring. Yeah. Nigga, you won way more appreciation Real for shit. that. Nigga, the, the, yep. the, the, the courage. Nigga, everybody was saluting the courage. Yep. Nigga, so scared to take an L, they think all L's are L's, homie, and they not. Mm. Some L's are wins, nigga. You just got to take the L so you can go get the W. So, no, nah, man, uh... I think that's gonna be big. I think that's gonna be great for Texas, and I think it'll be big for the culture. I don't think it happens. Um, I think Yayo and Sauce know is this too much to risk. Yayo want to punch. You lying to me? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that Sauce has a lot to lose. Yayo has nothing to lose, so that's why. Yayo want to punch. 
For real. That little, one thing about that little nigga, he go do some punching. I already know that. <laughs> one thing about that little nigga, he go do him some motherfucking squabbling. Nigga, he go squabble like a motherfucker. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, Sauce sell a good game. But nigga, we ain't seen Sauce squabble in no video. Nah, this is a mall fight from about eight years ago. Man, we got multiple fights of that little boy go get Kyron. Man, we got Kyron niggas, nigga in Austin on us. Man, that nigga been squabbling his whole career. We got one of South in the mall, but we ain't nigga. Yeah, that little nigga been squabbling, homie. And he just come about that joint squabbling. Uh, I, I want this, this like Tank and Martin if they can put this together. <laughs> this like man, this like Tank and Martin if they put this together. And nigga, I, I damn near go ride with Kyron. Man, it's it's hard not to. A guy fresh out the pen, just, man, like anger built up, like nothing to lose. Uh <coughs> I just I just don't see it. I don't see both of their crews being in one establishment, nothing happening. Something like you said, they niggas. Something gonna happen. <coughs> say homie, for the right money. Like Sauce Walker told his crew when we was in Phoenix, Arizona, ain't nothing gonna happen, nigga. We here for money. When the leader make the call, don't nothing happen. When the leader make the call, don't nothing happen. Now, if you're a weak leader, something will happen. But nigga, when the leader make the call, don't nothing happen. Stand down, everybody stand down. For the right amount of money, homie. They, there's some Saudi investors, homie, they just put billions of dollars into a new boxing league. Billions of dollars. I think they got Golden Boy and something. They just put billions in new boxing. It's really the celebrity boxing. So, uh, why not, nigga, put, because at this point, homie, it's just, it's just lingering emotions from some past beasts. It's just lingering in motion for some past beef. So if you got an opportunity to make some money legitimately and advance your career as well as open some doors for something else, I think I would talk my niggas and them to putting them lingering beef together, my nigga. Because y'all ain't done nothing all this time. It can't be, it, it, what you mean? Y'all niggas, they done been here, y'all done been in Houston, ain't nobody done nothing all this time. Why wait till one come home now all of a sudden we need to do, no, nah, nigga. Let's, let's let it go at this point. So now, homie, uh, it's a, it's a, it's an opportunity to change something that don't do nothing for nobody to do something for somebody fighting. Two niggas fighting. Don't do nothing for nobody, homie. But if you step over here in this ring and sell tickets, it can do something for everybody. Why not do it smart if we go do it? And we can still get it off our chest. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm with it. What do you got coming rest of the summer? A uh, residency in Las Vegas. I'm mad at all the blogs. All them blog posts, everything. Nigga, I done come through. <laughs> And got my own residency in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's on the website and everything. Wise Guys Comedy Club, Las Vegas, Town Square. The blog won't post nothing good about a nigga. Mm. Mad the mother, a lot of men mad in the motherfucker. Uh, but I get it. So, so, so what I did, homie, uh, and these white people. So why I can't be mad at white people, homie. Black people have not, other than you, my nigga. Uh, black people ain't open no doors for me. Mm. For white people. Oh, he go sell out. I got to. Y'all won't help me. Yeah, man, y'all won't help me, my nigga. They won't put me on no nigga. Shay Shay, uh, breakfast won't none, none of them, homie. So nigga, I, uh, other than you, nigga, I been I blew up on white platform. Why not? What, what's up with Shannon Sharp? He don't fuck with me. Ocho fuck with me. Shannon don't fuck with me. Ocho do. Uh, I I don't I don't really want to fuck with. Him. Yeah, yeah, I don't really. I want to stay. Yeah, nah, nigga. Uh, I'm aiming for Joe Rogan. Once I got the Jason Lee, nigga, I don't, nigga, Jason Lee for the surpass Shay Shay. 
Uh, yeah, he has a big uh, female audience too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that I'm talking to the killer sons over there. I mean, them them the killers mamas, all them women. Shay Shay is the is the football niggas in the locker room. I was the nigga making fun of the football niggas, fucking their girls while they was at practice, cause they cause they had to go to practice out of school. And we get to walk their girls home. Uh, so now nah, now nah, my nigga, uh, I don't know what's up with Shay Shay, but once I sat down with Jason Lee, homie, that changed everything. Because people got to see me in a whole different light. And he and he he straight up interviewed Charleston White without the character and the persona. Uh so yeah, nah, homie, I've been nigga, uh, yeah, I done reached out to Sexy Red, she done hit me up. Uh uh P from QC. Uh sh- man, I just done the little yachty. Uh so what Vlad and everybody been trying to stop over in the black side, shit, nigga, they open it up over here. Shout out to Paul Rosenberg. Or shady records. Would you would you put Adam on the black side? Adam twenty two. Yeah, he on the black side because because he had number gang bangers. Uh, uh, and, and nobody advances with those guys. So uh, even Zeus TV tried to Zeus Network tried to book me, and when I found out it was Zeus, nigga, I said, hell no, nah, I'm sending their money back. I wouldn't done do nothing with Zeus. So uh, so. So Paul Rosenberg, homie, they they give me my podcast out of Vegas. Not that they give, they've already gave me my podcast out of Vegas. Uh, so Paul Rosenberg and True, homie, they they believe if Charleston if Charleston sat down and done uh, radio personality, he got a long lasting career. And homie, that's been the ultimate goal. Even before I came to the internet radio, I was doing uh, the Fishbowl Radio Network over there, uh, uh, IDFW Radio. So I was doing all internet radio, uh, trying to pursue the path of PD Green. Trying to, you know, I'm the next Petey Green, so they gave me that opportunity. So with that opportunity, man, my man True from Green Room Radio, I was like, True, man, I'm doing comedy all over the country. It's going to be hard for me to stop doing comedy, come to Vegas every Tuesday and Thursday, shoot the podcast, then go out. And so that's how I got my own residency at Wise Guys Comedy Club. And we're doing a partnership. Uh, We're working on a partnership with Blue Martini, the club next door. Uh, Ladies Night on Thursday, my show every Thursday. Uh... I just shut down and killed it at the Miami Improv. The Miami Improv, the manager, man, so they've opened up many more doors. Uh, I just got a movie role that I just signed an NDA for so I can talk about it. So there was a movie role that they had for Cat Williams. Uh, after the Cat tour, Cat price superseded the budget. So uh, nigga, they gave the role to me. So, I, so I've been reading this script that was originally wrote for Cat that I'm gonna be playing. Uh, we got the movie. Uh, we got the movie Wrong Address that drops uh, in, 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 in September. And I just got my master's to, to, to all. Uh, I, got, I got two terabytes that has all of my videos from every video that's been deleted off Instagram and still on Instagram from 2017 to now, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, I got them all on a terabyte. And I just got to give her a shout out. There's a fan. And y'all probably see in the comments. She called wow. herself my stand. My number one stand. And nigga, she have been screen recording every last one of wow. my videos from 2017. So every YouTube page I lost and all them videos gone, nigga, she gave me two terabytes. So I got the masters to all my shit on me. So uh, I just talked to... I, I'm, I'm, well, I ain't, well, just, just, just know, man. Uh, yeah, they want it. <laughs> well, we, well, we do owe you that that uh Las Vegas post. Uh, I should say that we we definitely do. Gotta gotta post a positive uh, man, too. Oh uh, man, I, I, I'm asking that say Cheese TV come July 11th, come film my Las Vegas stream. Uh, capture the footage and put it on the channel. Homie. Yeah. Uh, La- last thing, last thing. Why? And and I want to know this. Me and Victoria, well, the world want to know this. Why do you get mad when? platforms post old content that's relevant for today uh well because i'm saying well why don't y'all post what i'm doing relevant today mm. why ignore all that a nigga done done my nigga all the accomplishments everything that i've overcame nigga won't post nothing to some old con so i'm saying mm. why do like the white folks do us my nigga why not pat a nigga on the back sometime now i understand if you don't fuck with me but man, shit, come on, homie. All the compliments, some of the, come on, nigga, my Miami Improv show is supposed to be posted, homie, because I'm doing shit that y'all favorite celebrities could be. So I'm saying, why right. wait to some old and a nigga accomplishing new? So are y'all just waiting to capitalize off a nigga bad? 
That's what I be saying. Why, as soon as somebody die, but here it is. These people that live from the last video to now, you ain't posting nothing about Channing till now. Mm. That don't feel bad to y'all. Mm. Well, we post news, so it's like we post what's relevant. We post what the topic is. But they're relevant here in this city. A song or something, uh, something to keep a nigga going. I don't, because because I, I this is what I see. The internet only cares about downfall. So because only thing make the news is downfall. So look, a kid from New Orleans had graduated school like your daughter when he was 14, New Jersey. That got 8,000 likes. We post Chicago got 30 shootings. It gets 22,000 likes, 50,000 likes. So, so do you post for good substance or do you post for likes? I post for news. I post for what I think. I post what I feel like people should know. So sometimes like we just we just made news about cities that people are leaving. P so cities so that so so this is what I'm saying. That's why we're where we at because we always post the news we think people want to hear. That's why everything on the news is bad. No, no, no. No, and I agree with you on that too, but I also post shit to where people can learn from as well. I know you do. But, you but, want, but, but like I told you earlier, I could do better, but you don't send stuff in how you used to. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, I ain't got time. Oh. Uh, Cause when you used to send shit in, I used to be like, all right, bet. I got you tomorrow. I got you. So it's like it's well, if you this, send this me what I'm just saying. Nobody's because the, let me just say this, homie. Negative we noise makes negative shit. We most because no. negative shit sell. <laughs> I don't want to say that. Negative shit moves faster. P people, look, bro. I, I, when I share positive shit, a black dude in Nigeria just made a new car that uh, off water. Nobody shares that shit. But because nobody because, shares because because your audience isn't Nigerian fans. Your no, they just I got ignorant kids as my fans, bro. So, you so, know that. So so. so so what you do is you sprinkle some that they can relate to. Those ignorant nigga kids can't relate to Nigeria. But I'm sure those ignorant nigga kids can relate to some kid who's done good around here, whether they like it or not. Just the fact that, see, homie, because most people think you have to do something bad, negative, or stupid just to get on these platforms. That's what most children think because mm. they don't see nothing else on there just because. Yeah. So what you're telling me is that a Nigerian kid making a car that that accelerates off water. That's that's not inspiring. Not to a po hood, baby. Po nigga, baby. Not your audience is not. They not they not they not poor in Nigeria. Uh not your niggas. <laughs> Homie, we're not you you missing my point. No, because, I get it. Because of our culture. That homie, that's far fetched across the water. Show me a kid in America that done something great that's more realistically we can relate to. Mm. Okay. Show me a kid that don't do drugs. Show me a good rapping kid that y'all done posted. I used to send y'all a young highway, a young kid rap like a motherfucker. But because he don't cuss, won't nobody post him. And I've been sending him for years. He went so hard on a finesse two-time beat. Little kid out of Longview, Texas. I done an interview with this kid. He played a piano and everything. T mama and daddy was a dope dealer. Daddy and mama was in the feds. So I've been... I've been Huh? Ty Harris. We post Ty Harris. But very rarely, though. We posted them twice this month. But, nigga, me and Ty done a song that nobody post. Me and Ty Harris got a song that's so goddamn bad, nigga. Won't nobody. Nobody has never posted it. And it's a bad-ass song. It's never been posted. I went into the studio. This nigga got on the piano and did some shit. Nigga, I went crazy in the intro. Whoa, nigga! I started, I started singing opera. Won't nobody play it, and I'm saying shit. How they fuck with Ty? And they want me and me and Ty got a song so goddamn cold. So now, my nigga, that's all I'm saying. And even Ty feel like the the, it, the area don't support him. He even yeah. feel like that. Yeah. And he's uh, a talented gifted musical genius but because he ain't in no beefs he ain't drilling oh shit nigga he don't get that kind of support he need so all i'm saying is homie it just seems like uh if if you're not doing nothing negative to our young people that's the only way you can get on the blogs mm. 
I understand that. Uh, and I feel like we should do better at that. Um, I'm taking accountability. I'm not perfect. Um, sometimes us as bloggers, we do reach for numbers. Um, I'm, I'm honest. Like, But there are a lot of cool stories on Say Cheese that people can go and find dope shit too. But um, I think people should, uh, on the flip side of that, I feel like people should support more positive things too. They're out. So, so, so what they do and leave kids to aspire to be like King and RT because they get the light. They cuss, they rap, they smoke weed, they grab it. Show me, when have y'all posted a good kid? A little bow wow, little dude. We're great. Y'all haven't. But they're I mean, out there. I mean, and I get what you're saying, but you got to understand that there are kids out here like Young Boy and, and Go Yayo that these kids. They want to be like, you know, uh, th but but that's because those are the only people they see. So if I'm in a desert and I see a building, they got lights on and I walk in there to get me something to drink. And the only thing they had to drink is dirty water, a pitcher of dirty water. I'm going to drink the dirty water. But if I go in there, they got a pitcher of dirty water. They got a pitcher of clean water. They got some Kool-Aid. They got some milk. Now I got some options. But if all I got is dirty water, then yeah, I'm going to drink the dirty water. All we got is dirty water. We used to have a Bow Wow kind of kid. We used to have a crisscross kind of kid. Real shit. But, and, and they could rap, nigga. And they was just as fascinating as the non-cussing kid. But because they don't put nothing but the, no, the cussing kid in front of you, then that's what they keep. Those are the seeds that they give us. Mm. And the blogs water the seeds. Mm. Nah, you're you're right, man. Uh, you're right. You're 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 right about that. Uh, but when we do post the positive, I just want somebody like yourself with influence to comment on the positive. Oh uh, well, I'm gonna jump in the comments, but don't look for the response of the audience. So don't worry about if you get comments. Don't worry about if you get likes. The consistency of you doing it will build the likes in the comments. Hmm. Okay, so, okay, for example, we'll post a rapper music video. They won't like it. They won't, they won't, they won't acknowledge it. They won't comment on it, share it. They won't thank us. But when we post something bad, they want to meet up and shoot and fight and do all that. <laughs> you can't worry about if they're... What, Why well, see, do y'all focus on the negative, though? This is what I'm saying. You have a, you have a plan and you have a purpose. You focus on your plan and your purpose. Don't worry about if they're going to like it, if they're going to if it's going to get numbers. What I know is if you keep doing your plan and your purpose, it's going to do what you want it to do. Don't worry about what they do. Nigga, you just do it and watch what it do. But okay, now let me flip the script on you. I remember one time you told me that you got into character because the good the good humble character the good, humble Charlie, Charleston White, people wouldn't, you wouldn't, on certain lives and certain numbers wasn't looking the same. Then you'll get into, to, to, to Rat Williams, and then you'll get way more, way more views, way more comments, way more likes. Now, so now, you now, that, that was two, three years ago. Now look at Charleston White getting booked on Jason Lee, and I never had to bring the character out one time. It's almost at a million. But you bring it out, you just brought it out for two days straight, though, on the internet. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I had filmed it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. The, the dance. So, homie, listen. My dance projects, when I don't put no character in it, do way yeah. more. So, what yeah. I'm starting to realize is they really, I had to I had to get the character to push Charleston out. But I kept putting Charleston out there, and he wouldn't get nothing. I kept saying, now, y'all don't want to book Charleston. I kept him out there, though. Now, look. The character is really gone. I wouldn't. I, I didn't quit Charleston. So so, so what? So what brings what brings Rat, Rat Williams back? A, a line of questioning. The type of questions people ask me, I know what they want. When they keep mm. asking me internet questions, they want Rat Williams. When they ask me culture and community questions, politician questions, oh, they want the man. Mm. I go by the questions now, so I've been able to go by what you asked me to determine who I introduce to you. I appreciate this. This was needed. Yeah, so all I'm saying, homie, you have to create. Homie, people don't know what they want till you tell them what they want. Right.
People don't know what they like till you make them like what you want them to like. That's the power of marketing and advertising. They don't know yeah. they're going to like it. But you're going to create a new space. You're going to create a new demographics by just saying, hey, here go a good kid. Because there are way more good people than there is bad people. That's facts. Homie, just once a month. One man every week, one week, we're gonna highlight y'all send in a kid y'all want. You know how many mothers go tune in and send their kid? Cause they know they watch y'all. Man, you know how many coaches go send they hey man, I got a boy that's doing this. It's gonna create a, a, a man shit, a new wave or something. Nigga, what you doing with all them plaques on the wall? Hey man, I, I ain't the only one that make them, you know, hey man, let me them, them let music, me. them music shit. Yeah, I saw yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, forgot, I, I forgot, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I forgot, yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. 